Hi, this is Lord Beard. Uh, it's been a few days since my last video update, and there's a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about. Uh, first of all, uh, Lob Girl is having her final days of her Lob Tour Indiegogo campaign, and she almost reached the $3,000 mark, so go and uh, pitch in. I'll put the link down below. And other than that, in the last several days or weeks, I've been really trying to organize all the LARP activities in Israel and uh, put up a really big uh, calendar for all the upcoming events. And the events just keep piling up. We have actually events day after day or sometimes at the same time. Of course, different crowds, but it's it's quite exciting to see that how, how this uh, field is growing. So I'll have a rundown of all the different events when I have my, my uh, Wi-Fi on because as you can see I'm not in my room, I'm outside someplace. Uh, this is uh, actually a cemetery, the official Israeli National Cemetery of uh, Mount Herzl. We have uh, several dead presidents behind me and this is like 15 minute walks away from my home. I uh, just I was walking back from uh, uh, college and decided to stop by and have a film. I have a little uh, shoot here. But it's really nice and this is someplace outside. It's not too noisy. Like I could hear a bit of traffic, but mostly I'll hear uh, cicadas and, and crows and, and pigeons. And there's some quails around here. Or some kind of, of wild hen. And that's the main noise we'll have here. So that's kind of nice. And then, of course, a lot of nice trees around. You can hardly see from here because I need a place with a good table to put my uh, you know, laptop with a camera on. But I can't really get the best view. But I can uh, turn you around a bit to see. Nice big trees. Uh, so the biggest upcoming event we have now, or actually almost at the same time, you have a big... Big, biggest Israeli convention for science fiction, fantasy, fandoms, role playing games is ICON, and I decided to take a part in organizing it. So I'll be in charge of a lot of the most of the LARP activities, specifically uh, the demonstration, the, uh, the face of the community. We'll have stuff uh, like a fighting arena. We're gonna build a nice wooden fighting arena. We're gonna have a in play tavern where people can come. Just be the, be their character. Nothing special, nothing planned. Just be the character. And of course, we have a shooting arena and a demonstration arena, where we're gonna have either uh, hard weapons fighting or uh, choreed, uh, choreographed fights or uh, tournaments. And have some team tournaments. We're gonna have a West Rosie uh, tournament where people who are in, in Game of Thrones. Uh, cosplays can fight and all sorts of, of not nice to what to see activities but things that will that might attract new people in not just some nerds fighting with sneakers and t-shirts and other than that of course we're gonna have some uh, lectures and workshops wherever we can put in there and I'll link to that website below as well and just two weeks prior to that we're gonna have Libra 2, that's the next game in the Libra series, and it's gonna be a bit different from the first one. The first one was more of a competition between several groups, and there's a lot of mayhem and, and politics and backstabbing in that game, as it should be. And uh, this next game, I'm still gonna be in charge of uh, my group, the Normand Dachi, even though we don't have a duke anymore, so not exactly a Dachi, we're just gonna come as several different different noble houses and uh, we'll see how that comes out because that's the first time we're really trying to build a whole world a whole system with uh, family trees and interconnecting family ties and uh, really really trying to get in-depth nice political game and besides that we have far off in november a big uh, battle of the five armies larp that's going to be a, not a foam LARP, but a, a harder foam LARP, as it's called, because they're going to have some wooden weapons there, especially pole arms or and tougher foam we're going to people build. And it's not 
it won't be entirely a military game, but it, it would supposed to have some politics in there. So that that would be interesting. And besides those big things, we're gonna have a nice uh, human versus zombie game. You know, these little nerf guns and and post-apocalyptic themes. And that's uh, in August, I think. And we have all these small activities like uh, here in Jerusalem. And every Saturday for the next four Saturdays, you're gonna have an activity like uh, for little kids, you know, like. 8 to 12, I think, 8 to 14. Um, LARP activity, live role playing game activities set in the David's uh, Palace, I think David's Palace, the David Siddle's Museum. That's actually, it's attributed to David, it's not really his. He, maybe he built the base, but uh, it was smashed down and rebuilt by everybody who conquered the city. So did the Ottomans. And, and the Turks are uh, and the British probably even before that with the Crusaders and Saladin and that's gonna be it, it's a nice thing to see happening I'm not I can't go there <laughs> it's not I'm not the part of the dem the target demographic I might be able to show up to the next ones as a uh, instructor or just an NPC but uh, not in our test period and other than that Next weekend, you're gonna have the Battle of Hittin, Coins of Hittin. It's a living history or reenactment event, and they're gonna have a the 30 kilometer voyage that's about 20 miles, uh, reenacting the last days of the first king of Jerusalem. And of course, we've got the, the Knights of Jerusalem playing or acting and uh, going with full of crusader gear. And then you have the, the a few the archery club, the traditional archery club in Jerusalem. They're going to play the Saracens and they're going to shoot them with arrows. And eventually, everybody, all, all the Christians die, and then everybody goes and have a swim in the Kinneret, you know, the Lake of Galilee. So I can't attend that because I didn't have enough time to prep all my gear, and I've got tests coming up, so just it won't happen this year. But I hope it happens next year. And I kind of consider it a liar because you know people go out and they, they have a character and they play that character, so that, that counts. And besides that, we have ooh, tons of events. We've got people teaching other guy, other people how to juggle. They have juggling uh, events, so they're gonna have uh, meetings for that. Uh, some guys are trying to think up the post-apocalyptic LARP. They wanted to do it with airsoft. Maybe they'll be persuaded to do it with Nerf because of the, the HVZ. Everybody's crazy about Nerf right now. That's going to happen later on in March, something like that. March 2016. And then there's another guy. He wants to have a big game March 2017. Also post-apocalyptic, but that's way off. Things, things might change 17 times up to then. How did I forget? In two weeks' time, we're gonna have a small Jerusalem convention. It's called a uh, Griffin Griffin uh, convention, and it's gonna be just one a one day event with three uh, the morning, afternoon, evening rounds of role playing games, or maybe I'll do, demonstrate some uh, Warzone War Resurrection uh, miniature games. And at the at the night shift, uh, they'll do it. Uh, I think from eleven from probably 9 or 10 o'clock until 1 o'clock at night they're gonna have a live role-playing game and it's just a small more politically inclined game and we're all gonna play fairies and I'll be one of the uh, fairy captains I'm in charge of the fairies from a specific neighborhood in Jerusalem okay, and they'll have also they have the, the Jerusalem forest fairies I'm, I'm currently technically in the Jerusalem forest and they'll have the Tel Aviv fairies and they're gonna have uh, the odd fairies, all, all types of fairies and they're supposed to meet up and elect a new leader or something like that, I have to see, we didn't get all the material yet uh, but that, that will be a fun uh, change of pace from all the last games I was in because they were all just you know, prepping for three months to go out to the field and doing a lot of, of crafting and stuff and this is just a simple game I'm just gonna try to get something some sort of costume on or get up actually a gear or kit and 
I'm just gonna go and do something light, light and fast. And I didn't get to do that a long time. So uh, that's it.